I'm Dude, and here's our Friday news, 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 news break. We're coming to you today on June, June 10th. And of all things, I feel the need to handle something firearms related because I'm talking about Obama and Hillary Clinton. Oh, man. Okay, if you guys have seen, obviously, it's plastered all over the... New- uh, I feel so good handling this one, talking about these two a-holes, but uh, have you seen the news where they're talking about Obama's endorsement of Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders? Now, supposedly, uh, Obama spoke with Bernie, and there was all this back and forth, and now, oh, I stand behind Hillary, she's the best person. No, she's the absolute best person who's ever been selected to run for President of the United States. Oh, man, she's just... Uh, hang on a second. Gotta unzip my pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's just the absolute cat's pajamas for anybody who's ever been chosen to be a candidate to be president of the United States. It was just disgustingly pap, nasty, gack, you know, just liberal spew. I mean, that literally was it. So I'm going to read you guys from north to south. It's, uh, it's a story broach from Daily Caller, and it's posted on Western Journalism. Now, actually, this is kind of interesting, so you guys want to check this one out if you get the chance. WesternJournalism.com forward slash Obama's endorsement, Hillary heads people calling a liar. So literally, the endorsement thing is reading like this from north to south. Obama's endorsement of Hillary has heads turning, people calling him a liar. Well, big stretch there. The general conclusion that Obama has lied, written by Chris Campbell, posted on June 9, 2016, 3, 10 p.m., Story as I read such stands to be like this. President Barack, President Barack Obama formally endorsed Democrat frontrunner Hillary Clinton in a video that was released Thursday by her campaign. But soon, the staff at the Daily Caller noticed something strange about his attire. Obama claimed to have recorded the video after he met with Senator Bernie Sanders. Quote, I had a great meeting with, end quote, quote, quote. You know, kind of like they're talking about Bernie, Senator Bernie Sanders this week. End quote. Obama said in a video, but his necktie says otherwise. During his video endorsement of Clinton, Obama was wearing a tie featuring blue and white stripes. According to the Daily Caller, this is the same tie he wore Tuesday when meeting with India Prime Minister Narendra. Interesting, huh? So supposedly he was doing this on Thursday. Why was he recording it on Tuesday? Yeah, it, it, it kind of doesn't shake out as real genuine, does it, folks? No. Mm-mm. So, literally, these guys can't even keep stupid continuity, and it's blatantly obvious. Now, he's, he's the president. He's probably got a closet full of clothes donated to him, given to him, uh, stuff he's accumulated over the years of being a political hack. You know, that literally is their uniform. They wear the gray suit with the tie, the power tie. It's almost always blue, but... Or red, if they're trying to show that they're really in charge. So essentially, he got busted by his own choice of attire by wearing a tie. Too cool. So if you guys want to check this out, it truly is. Let me click over here to the link real fast. Uh, Daily Caller is going to be photo evidence. Uh, Let's see, here we go. Uh, Photo evidence, Obama is either a time traveler or a liar. On Thursday, President Barack Obama fully endorsed Hillary Clinton for president. In a video released by the Clinton campaign, President Obama was thanked by Bernie Sanders for running an incredible campaign, quote, end quote. I had a great meeting with Senator Sanders this week, the lame duck stated, but careful as the Daily Caller noticed something fishy about his neck accoutrement. In a video, which again, POTUS claimed happened after he met with Sanders in the White House, Obama is clearly wearing a blue and white striped tie, which happened on the sa- happened to be the same one he wore Tuesday when meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Narendra, Narendra Modi. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Oddly enough, Obama sported a purple and white striped tie when he met with Senator Sanders on Thursday morning, and they show you pictures of both these ties side by side, and they are not even close to the same kind of pattern. One stripe is running one way, one stripe is running another way. Sanders is running a dark blue and light blue striped tie. Obviously, these things are very easily to be identified. So what is it, President Obama? Was there a secret government program working on bending the very fabric of space and time? 
Did you change your clothes for a few hours? Or are your pants these, as kids these say, these, <laughs> oh wow. Or are your pants as kids say these days, on fire? Yeah, uh, I'm going to put links in both these stories so you guys can look it over for yourselves. But the pictures are blatantly obvious that what happened on one day and not two days later or two days before or two days afterwards, he got busted. It's pretty freaking obvious. Hillary's a hack. <laughs> Obama's full of crap. And all these Democrats are pretty much the same guys that you always knew they were. And oh man, mm -mm, pistol projects need to be happening. Oh, incidentally, there has been people asking me about dual wielding two pistols. Hmm, I I think that could be kind of interesting. Let, let's see, what would something like that actually kind of look like? Hmm, I would I'd probably be at the range. Obviously, you would see me walking up to the area which to engage upon with shooty shooty, and you would see me walking up going, <laughs> I brought my lasers. Um. I'm about to be firing my lasers. Uh, yeah. Incidentally, those people who really truly thought that I was doing kind of weird video tricks, no, there actually is two uppers. One being a 10-inch, one being a 7-inch, and this one's going to be a flashy thingy, and this one's going to be not so much of a flashy thingy, but comparison to weight, this thing's a tank compared to this, man. This thing is flicky, flippy, and it's, it's going to be a hoot, man. I really can't wait to take this thing out to the range with the, uh, goodies I've got to be building it with. Mm -mm. Should be a real good time in the range. All right, folks, I'm going to break over this one. Um, for some reason, I just don't want to put these things down. Yeah, maybe because I'm talking about Democrats, and, well, Democrats always like, oh, guns are bad, they're evil. Yeah, these things are just nasty. Jump right out of the case and try to attack me. Mm. You have a screaming in my ear, shoot me, shoot me, use up all your ammo, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, well, that too. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to break up on this one. Have a very good weekend. Talk to you guys on Friday, Friday, Friday. Obama, you're a hack. Hillary, you're just her thinness, as you know, Mark Levin calls her, her thinness. Ugh, hideous people. I'm going to break up on this one, folks. Eat good, keep thundering as always, always. You know what you love it. If you got them, shoot them. Make a noise of freedom. Good times. See you guys.